Welcome back to Smart Money Monday. Today we're going to learn about a different kind of investment, investment properties. And here to walk us through that, we have Brenda Mitchell from Bank of Hawaii. Aloha, Brenda. Aloha, Steve. So, so what exactly are we talking about with an investment property? Investment properties are typically classified as real estate purchases you would make with the intention of renting them out or fixing them up to sell them. They're typically income producing properties and ones that you don't intend to live in. So what makes investment properties such a good investment? Owning property is a tangible investment that can give you high returns and add to your income. And if you like fixing up properties, it can be a really great hobby too. Which sounds great, but it also sounds like a big time commitment. It absolutely is, Steve. So you really need to decide whether you want this to be a short-term or a long-term investment. So short-term, you would quickly fix it up and sell it, or long-term, you would hold it and rent it out. What about upfront cost in investing in property? Upfront costs can include realtor fees, costs to improve or renovate the property, closing costs, and management fees. Uh, what about some continuing costs? Like all mortgages and properties, you're going to have property taxes, insurance, maintenance, repairs, property management fees, and of course, the monthly mortgage payment. Ooh. All right, so how can people actually acquire the property in the first place? There's three main ways people can acquire investment property. Number one, you could buy the property outright in cash. Two, you could finance the property with a loan and a mortgage. Or three, you could do what's called a transfer in which you receive a property as a gift or a transfer from someone else's estate. All right, so let's get started. If you want to own investment property, what are some of the steps that you should take? Like with any big financial decision, you should do a budget to see what you can afford, create a financial plan, and definitely look to find the right property for you and do lots and lots of homework. <laughs> and then possibly, maybe you could be the proud owner of some investment property. You absolutely could. All right, Brenda Mitchell from uh, Bank of Hawaii, thanks for joining us. Mahalo, Steve, it was my pleasure. To learn more about investment properties, please visit boh.com slash resources. All right, thank you, Brenda, and thank you for watching Smart Money Monday.